This video is on enforcement and monitoring of mobile devices. There are many different tools that are released every day for mobile devices. Security professionals need to know some of these tools and ensure there are certain enforcement and monitoring in place to ensure security. First, we have third-party application stores. They're typically installed as application packages over USB interface of an Android devices or as IPA files on a jailbroken iOS devices. By using a computer, these packages are often downloaded through third-party program stores like AppBrain. This is a big concern because unlike official app stores that goes through intense process of checking for all the apps and security requirements, third-party apps may not have scanned for malware and are usually full of bugs. Sideloading is a term that is used to refer to a process of installing an application on a mobile device without utilizing the device's official application distribution method. Once again, this requires rooting or jailbreaking. Rooting or jailbreaking gives the owner complete access to the operating system's root and all of its functions. Rooting is a phrase used to describe eliminating restrictions from the Android phone or tablet similar to jailbreaking. This is usually done to install apps from third-party application stores. But another popular reason is for carrier unlocking. This basically lets you get service with any carrier on a compatible network. You can do this by legal means as well. When you remove carrier lock that prevents many devices from running on a competing for cellular networks. After opening it, you can bring your phone to a carrier on a suitable network and sign on to their services. However, unlocking a phone without manufacturer's permission requires that the phone first undergo a process of jailbreaking. Once again, this process can decrypt private data and may leave phone unprotected from malware and security attacks. And when you download applications from unreliable sources, you may be downloading custom firmware. Custom firmware are used to run certain things. Many of the protection required to secure the device and operating systems are set up by firmware. Configuring hardware security settings, verifying boot, and handing over the operating system are a part of this process. Custom firmware is also known as aftermarket firmware, and they can control and configure the hardware components of a platform. Users installing custom firmware leaves themselves open to possibility of an attack. Because custom firmware can include things like custom certificate in its trust list and can also use custom DNS server, it makes it easy for malicious entity to steal sensitive data by simply delivering their own custom firmware that has certificate corresponding to its proxy. Mobile devices usually utilize firmware over the air update method. Firmware over the air updates is a method of remotely upgrading the code on an embedded device. It's easier to use wireless technique of sending new software or firmware to mobile phones and tablets. A lot of mobile devices these days have USB on the go function. With USB on the go, you can connect external devices to your smartphone or tablet. USB on the go is a tool that allows tablets or smartphones to act as a host and allows USB devices such as external devices like USB flash drives, mouse, keyboards to be attached to them. USB on the go allows two USB devices to communicate without a need for a computer. USB on the go introduced a dual role device, which may serve as both host and peripheral. The fact that a host and peripheral can swap roles if necessary is part of the charm of USB on the go. Another technology that security professionals need to be aware of is Wi-Fi Direct, which allows devices to connect directly to each other without the need for Wi-Fi access point. It simply requires a push of a button or entry of a pin. Wi-Fi Direct Ad Hoc is a technology that enables your software to swiftly locate and interact with neighboring devices over a longer distance than Bluetooth allows. Another popular technology is the hotspot. Most popular way to connect is tethering. Tethering uses a mobile device as a modem to link another device to internet, such as a laptop or another mobile phone. Tethering is one way to make mobile hotspot. Hotspots are physical locations where users may connect to their mobile devices to the internet wirelessly. Hotspot can be found in private or public venues such as coffee shop, hotel, airport, or even an airline. You can monitor mobile devices in numerous ways. First, we have camera, which can be used for tracking, bugging, monitoring, eavesdropping, and recording conversations. Text messages, multimedia messaging services can all be monitored like this as well. This includes the tracking of people's movement using mobile phone signals when phones are turned on. GPS tagging is a way to do this. The location services are linked to mobile devices to perform geotagging. To track the position of the subscribers, most social networks and related services employ some type of geotagging. It allows users to add their current location to their articles and updates. 
We also have microphone, which is an electronic device that converts sound waves into electronic signals or records them on a medium. And they're used in a lot of applications, including communications, music, and voice recording. Another monitoring method is by multimedia messaging services. This is a good way to track payment as well, since mobile devices can be used to pay, and messages are usually sent after the payment. Video, audio, location, text are just some ways to monitor devices. But mobile device management admins need to implement policies to enforce rules and decide how things should be enforced and monitored.